So today I will be presenting at the IMS 2023, the uh, first time the uh, overall survival results of the Optimism study. Optimism study was initiated in, in 2012 and the data cutoff and the overall survival is done in 2022 after 10 years. And uh, we have now a um, uh, follow-up of uh, 64 months now. And with this follow-up, we are presenting for the first time the overall survival results. Uh, this study uh, compares the pavonidomide bortezomib dexamethasone combination versus bortezomib dexamethasone in the setting of relapsed refractory myeloma who have received one to three prior lines of therapy. All patients exposed to lenalidomide and about 70% of patients being refractory and not bortezomib refractory. So in this typical study, which uh, constitutes a majority of patients who, are, who have received lenalidomide in the front line, it, this is a good study to compare the impact of adding an image to the bortezomib dexamethasone backbone. And uh, the initial results which were published earlier showed the PFS advantage. And, and today we are presenting the overall survival results Initially, at the first look, the overall survival is similar, but with the preplanned time-dependent covariate analysis, including the subsequent treatment arms, now it is possible to show that patients who were in the control arm received more pomalidomide, 58%, compared to 19% in the experimental arm, which results with an overall survival advantage in favor of PVD. So this is in an inofficial in uh, crossover study, patients who received POM in the uh, the first uh, part of the study and after relapse the control arm uh, uh, more than 50% uh, of patients receiving POM makes the overall survival analysis uh, look similar but when you analyze deeper with the Cox proportional hazard model, then it's possible to show the overall survival advantage. And here we also show the, for the first time the PFS2, which is also in favor of PVD arm. And um, the PFS uh, was reanalyzed, validating the first results. And the safety is also, uh, uh, as reported earlier, with no concerns regarding myelosuppression or neurotoxicity as well as the second primary malignancies. So I can say that PVD is a alternative regimen uh, and today we have seen earlier and this year there were two publications comparing CAR T versus standard of care and PVD was included in the standard of care arm so the, the PVD still keeps this position as a um, second line or third line of therapy.